Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at the Executive Hire Show Innovation Trail. And today we're talking about innovations in the industry that people have been recognised for. David and Stephen, father and son team here at PropHow, are the first innovators that I'm seeing today at the show. And I love it because basically, come over here and see this. Move over, guys. Prop Pal is the pal for the prop that we see right here. David, you've been bringing this into the industry now for a I few have. years, yep. and it's going down a storm. It is. Why is it an innovation? We're going to explain that right now. Basically, it's in terms of propping up and supporting walls, it's the safest, easiest, and securest way of doing so in the building trade, because basically what builders have been using is, say, like structural steel, haven't they, which has been clamping on top, and say, an acro prop, and even using strong boys as well and they're just not really safe methods to use. Stephen here is the founder of the Prop Pal. Yeah. There were problems, weren't there, Stephen, on site before Prop Cal came along. You know, people were, were, were having issues with, with stabilisation of the props, making sure they're in right, exactly. and also the ease of, of propping something up. It was becoming complicated and, and sometimes dangerous. I've been probably been guilty to using some of the makeshift methods myself in the past, yeah, yeah. you know, as a builder. And, uh, you know, I was never satisfied by just using bits of box section steel or RSJ, you know, just to, you know, basically you're supporting the back of somebody's house, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the worry and the stresses that can cause to any builder who's conscientious about what they do, you know, it is a bit of a nightmare and literally, you know, I was I did my own research to see if there was anything out there that we, you know, we could do it better and I couldn't find anything and basically this literally popped into my head one You just give you sleep at night, didn't it basically? Yeah, it was, it was, it, it was a bit like a eureka moment yeah, and yeah. Uh, started to get initial designs done yep. and uh, you know to this part this is probably about the fourth or the fifth finished version now before we perfected it to how it, it you know it is now. What's interesting here folks is I'm always looking at these sort of horrific things that we see on sites yeah. where the props are like this, something's bending yeah. around like this. This section here you've got a area that the prop sits in. So yeah. that's rigid that can only be in the yeah. right vertical position. This yeah. area here, you feed through, like here in the in some of the buildings, yeah. you feed through a gap in the wall. So we're not having to knock out massive spaces because that's the structural steel there that we're feeding through. Yeah. And then we're able to just sort of wind Adjust this that, up yeah. and down. Oh, it's a bit, yeah. wind this up and down as we wind up a prop the eat other side, aren't we? Yeah, so we're right. winding this up and down yeah. until we've got the exact right position for the prop. Exactly, yeah. It's, it's, ca it's yeah. carrying the inner and outer leaf walls you know, evenly. Yeah. So it's supporting you know. both skins of the walls yeah, instead both, of anything. Supporting both. You're safety so, and securely. You know, you've got that, uh, you know, a balance, you know, which, so you, you literally, you know, uh, supporting, um, you know, all the way to the masonry and the roof, etc., all evenly, you know, through the, uh, through the needle. And, and that's all, an interesting point, actually, because we talked earlier and you've got something behind you. Let's move around a little bit yeah. here, Stephen. Yeah, because yeah. I'm going to tuck Stephen in here, and, and David, you can tuck in here with me as well. Yeah. Sometimes, folks, you don't get a simple uh, brick and block house like that, no, do you, Steve? No, you don't. Sometimes somebody designs a, a castle somewhere, or even if we see now on the tally, designs these huge houses with massive steels everywhere. Yeah. And guess what, folks? This little one over here, you can't use that to prop that up. You need something bigger, don't you, Stephen? You've yeah, yeah. gone the yeah. extra mile now and you've designed this new approach for yeah. those structures. Tell me about it. It's bigger, it's stronger. What is it capable of doing? Well, I mean, it's, it has been tested to uh, seven ton, the actual beam itself, but um, we, we've rated it the same as the original one. Uh, at one, 1050, 1050 kilogram. So there's no confusion that right. you know that between the two. Between the two. Yeah. And you know, it's still basically for domestic properties, if you know I'm saying, but like I say, if you've got a stone stone uh, building, etc., or you Depths know, where the walls are really thick, you know, you can have six hundred, you need the extra width. So you've got the the space in between uh, your props and your wall because you you see you're going to have to position your steels. Yeah. Uh, on the ground, you know, ready for lifting in. So you need that space, uh, extra space on 
uh, so you can position everything ready for lifting into position. And well, what's interesting, folks, and this is what I like about this design as well, is yeah. this is a new section as well, because yeah. we're talking earlier, and I said, well, what about if we went in a bathroom and had all my toilet right next to the wall or close to the wall, and we needed to, to do some propping in there? So don't worry, guys, we've got this new piece here. It literally slots through, doesn't it, Stephen? So you yeah. can actually pop that right um, there. You yeah. don't have to push through trying right. to get an angle for the prop pal to go out. Exactly. Comes in the other way from yeah. the outside, slots into there, yeah. and there you go. Can't you? Exactly. Even the most tricky elements to prop yeah. are now capable of doing that. So, folks, here we are with the team at Prop Pal, first on the innovation trail. It's great to see just clever thinking, Stephen. Problems unsafe acts on site now disappear and the speed in which you can now do this is brilliant and look at all these places we're at the executive hire show folks you can buy one of these but you can certainly hire it from oh, a lot yeah. of people now yeah. Stephen. Yeah. about 80 plus yeah. hire companies 80 plus, 80 plus, hire plus. so since 2019 we've got smith's hire on board yeah and now it's going to say 80 plus and charles perkins we've even got a national on board now as well Fantastic. So it shows that they've got faith in and products. Yeah, I mean, those eight, those 80 stores between them and, and with Travis Perkins, we've got over 400 stores now. 450 that, plus. Wow. 450 that sites available potentially from. Potentially available from. So, so, folks, there's a store near you for the Prop Pal, but also, if you're coming to the Executive Hire Show, the guys are ready to take your money, and you can just buy one straight off the stand, can't you guys? <laughs> so that's what innovation is all about, yeah. using other innovations to actually sell the machine but also sell the tools here, but also it's a higher proposition, this. It really yes. is. That people yeah. can go in, hire it for a couple of days, does the job. Great to meet you, Stephen. No, Great to meet you, David. Congratulations Thanks, on being on the innovation trail. Yeah.